the hurricane cortical aspiration technique. Vacuum emulsification is the gold standard technique used during modern cataract surgery for the last decade. Lately, use of femtosecond laser provided an even better predictability and safety in several steps of these surgeries. Nevertheless, at the end of the nucleus, emulsification and aspiration of the remaining cortical fragments is still an important step to be performed. Many surgeons perform cortical aspiration, moving the irrigation aspiration handpiece from the periphery to the central area of the eye, movement that is denominated radial aspiration. Usually, there is no established sequence to perform this procedure, so surgeons choose randomly the next piece of the cortex to be aspirated. Along the years, observing different surgeons and analyzing their practices in details, we noticed that aspirating the neighbor cortex material in a tangential way, one after another, could accelerate and make the entire aspiration much easier and faster. A lot of practice led to the development of a continuous tangential one-step cortical aspiration movement, what we called the hurricane, IA technique. At that point, some questions concerning safety or damage to the intraocular structure started to emerge. To answer these questions, we've decided to use the Miyaki Apple video device to compare zonular traction and capsular bag deformation using both methods. This first video shows a frontal view of an eye. The iris was removed and retroillumination was used to highlight the zonal and capsular bag complex. Radial aspiration is being performed to a small portion of the cortex. The same movement is presented now from a posterior view. Notice the traction against the zonals and the capsular bag deformation. In this next video, with a higher magnification, we could observe again the traction against the zonals and the capsular bag, mostly during the early movements of the detachment of the cortical material from the capsular bag. Now, we are going to view a tangential cortical aspiration in this posterior view. Notice the smooth detachment of the cortex, with almost no deformation of the capsular bag. This image shows the continuation of the tangential movement in real time. Again, in slow motion. See the continuous aspiration of the cortical material one after another, with almost no traction to the zonals and capsular bag. This image illustrates both approaches to aspirate cortical material. Look at the zonals and the bubbles movements Look how gentle is the releasing of the cortex during tangential mode. These last videos show the continual circular one-step cortical aspiration, frontal view and back view.
more studies are needed to compare differences between these two approaches of cortical aspiration, but images have shown that hurricane IA technique seems to be a safe, easy, fast and logic procedure.